everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning September 20th, 2021. Before we hop into this, if you would like a personal reading, just go over to angelsouls444.com. I am in fact doing Akashic Record readings as well. Just make sure that you note that when you make your selection, okay? So just go ahead and buy whatever readings, put it in the submission form, cool? And also I have the whole Archangel meditation challenge series over at Gumroad. That is gumroad.com slash angel souls. There are a bunch of archangels over there. The latest is Archangel Rossio, who helps with soul alchemy, sort of the magician angel, if you want to see it that way, but really the archangel that helps with transformation. So you can get it on over there and check it out. All right, so let's get into the message for this week. Uh, this time around, uh, there's a lot coming through, so I'm just going to sit here for a moment with my eyes closed <laughs> and see what we're going to focus on. Yeah, East Coast, you want to watch out. You're going to be getting hit. Mm -hmm. Probably hurricanes. I mean, it's a, we're at the height of hurricane season, so just obviously you probably already know that. Yeah, and up into Canada, too. I'm still getting a message that New York City and the surrounding area that you'll want to watch out. Please remember, I'm just a spiritual intuitive here. I'm taking in energy and I am interpreting it. But there is a collective energy. And New York's not the only one. I mean, there are lots of cities all over the world where, you know, empathy is not such a priority where people have, you know, been raised in certain ways so that, you know, they, they think they don't have to feel and like it's, it's bad to be vulnerable. Vulnerability is your strength. It is your power. It is how you understand yourself, okay? And um, what maybe holds you up from living your fullest potential. There are going to be some very, very, very hard lessons coming to people who harm others. This has already happened. Uh, we want to be careful with this because that can put us into a vengeful or revenge kind of place. So we want to be careful. We don't want to go into that. We also don't want to do this thing where it's like, oh, love and light. You know, I'm so not about that. I'm so, I mean, I'm about positivity and stuff, but not being in denial, right? Because a lot of people are using spirituality to just sort of... Um, tuck things away and not deal with it you feel me so we're not encouraging that justice will be done justice will be done now some of you might be coming to some very very deep revelations um, that will free you this might be about location. I don't know. If you're in New York City, for example, you know, because we were just talking about that, um, and you feel like you're, every time you go out, there's always something going on, or uh, I know when I lived in New York City, I spent most of my adult life in New York City. And even standing on the subway platform, I got to a place where I'm like, I, I'm scared to stand on this platform. First of all, we have rats the size of possums out there, okay? <laughs> or maybe you don't know what a possum is, the size of cats. I'm an Ohio girl, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it wasn't just that. Like, I would come across people who were so uh, just kind of crazy that they wouldn't think twice about shoving someone and being careless. And a train is coming into the station. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, weather events or other things that we don't want to put into the video here. But if you're walking around and you're wondering, like, you know, do I belong here anymore? Do I want to be in a place where there are no, well, not that New York City doesn't have any morals, but I think we, we tend to, the people who have given up on morals, who have no integrity, they don't care about other people whatsoever, we put them on a pedestal. Again, it's not just New York City, that's all over. So this is that kind of feeling where people are having revelations about this. Waking up, it's a beautiful thing, okay? What do I keep hitting? My glasses. Let me put those over here. Okay, <laughs> put them over to the side. Um, so we're going to start having some very, very deep revelations about that. This might mean that some of you decide that you are going to be moving, which with all the recent stuff, 
That's not surprising. I am feeling the message here of be careful of where you go to, right? So you don't, and we've already been seeing this where people are flooding into small towns that don't have the infrastructure to handle this influx of, you know, population, right? This rise in population. So uh, just be careful, okay? Like I, I don't, I don't know why that's coming up. There is the practicality around it, which I just said, but um, they're saying they don't have the hospital capacity. They don't have, I wonder what's gonna happen. Not just this week, obviously, but just in general. I mean, like I said, already people are moving around, but there's some issue. Again, it's just like this, this town can't hold all of you, right? It, it's sort of sort of that. So, you know, I don't know if there are like small towns around Connecticut or going into Pennsylvania and you guys are Jersey and you're going out to these smaller towns and they just can't handle all the people that are coming there, okay? Um, so do your research and really tune into your intuition. Where do you really belong? Now, you might be sitting here going, why are you just talking to people in New York City? It's not, I was using that as an example. It's not just people in New York City. It's anybody in a large city or wherever you are. You know, whatever town that you're in, you might say, I wanna go somewhere else. But if you're not careful, it's weird. Cause I feel like everyone's just kind of being impulsive and just kind of going all over the place. And it causes some huge issues, some very, very huge issues. And you might say, well, why is that coming up in a reading? If it comes up, it's important, okay? Even if we don't understand it right here, right now, we gotta live it out a little bit. Um, just have that, have that there, have it uh, to tap into as things come up. But again, we are in this societal place where we really need to, it's tough. Okay, let me, let me go down this road here. So we have all these people on pedestals, yes? They are harming people because they're manipulative or just conniving. They just don't care about people. And, you know, a lot of people who are sensitive, we know, get made out to be targets because people want to feel superior. And if you are sensitive, that's seen as a weakness, blah, blah, blah. Some crazy person is going to come out and be like, I'm superior to you because blah, I can't feel <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, and... It is the crumbling. These structures are crumbling down. So maybe this week, actually, you know, I say this every week. This is just the time that I'm releasing this. And yeah, I'm kind of focusing on around this time, but the messages expand. So treat every one of these videos as if they were timeless, okay? But I, I do see more people getting exposed. And what I mean by that would be uh, I want to be again. I want to be careful what I say here, not just because of the censorship issue, but I do have kids watching. Sometimes parents let their kids watch these videos too, so I want to just be—they're not made for kids, but you know, I'm, I want to be mindful of that. But um, grown-ups will hear me when I say certain things, like trafficking, in the way that we typically think of it. But also, there is a form of this—let's call it trafficking—that occurs in corporations. Uh, it occurs in <laughs> certain cities here in the United States where someone is served up to someone else or someone finds their target and then there's all this manipulation, yes? So there's something, really the best that we can do is educate ourselves on this uh, and, and educate ourselves on what is grooming, what is, you know, what kind of manipulation is going on here. Why are people so protected? Now don't go down that rabbit hole because you know why they're protected, but they're not protected anymore. They can't hide anymore. It's just not going to happen. The ones that try to um, come off as if they're one thing, but really they're another, yes? So you can, we will be seeing that out in the world, okay? But I, you're probably gonna be experiencing that on a personal level as well. This is going to be uncomfortable, but not terrible. You know what I mean? It's, it's just part of the process where we're like, okay, I kind of figured, but you know. So there's going to be a bit of that. And this will, I'm feeling this, this thing here of freedom coming of this. And especially if you are somebody who's tapped into your soul power. 
where you have done your spiritual practice. You're doing your healing. You're not carrying resentment, but you're also not just like, I want to be a love and light person, so I forgive you and it's all good. And then you stay in these horrible relationships. And God forbid, if you're in one of those situations, please reach out to local resources, okay? Always make sure you are protecting yourself in that way. Or if you're trying to heal, spirituality is great. It's a part of it. It's not all of it. Make sure you are getting therapy. You have a, you have a physical brain, okay? <laughs> you got to treat that too. So just make sure you're taking a whole approach to this, okay? There's a lot of this, guys. There's a lot of this breaking open of the manipulation, the games. I'm going to get the Michael deck out. Um, did I address this? Well, one other time, somebody had asked me, uh, I saw the comment and then I couldn't find it again, but someone asked if you think that this deck is, they were being antagonistic, but I'll just address it. If you think that this is um, a spiritual sidestepping deck, why do you still use it? It still has the energy of Archangel Michael for one. Uh, most of the messages are really, really great and it offers an opportunity for us to address spiritual sidestepping when it occurs. And also because this is an older deck, I, I think it's a really nice thing to see how far we've come, you know, because we were in a very different place back when these would have been released. So there is that as well, in case anybody was wondering out there. So I think we're going to get more through the cards. I'm just going to go on to that part. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck first. It's all the, this is not one of those things where it's like, I mean, there might be like a shocking, like, oh my God, I can't believe that. But really you knew, you knew, we all knew this one to jump right into my hands, bring love into the situation, new moon and Aquarius. What this makes me feel like is there's going to be a lot of healing that needs to occur. So we are going to have to send a lot of love around. As I always say, always send protective energy around to every child, but there, there's going to be. Mm. things are getting uncovered it's just the same stuff <laughs> that's been happening but we might see where um, people just aren't going to get away with stuff like they used to because we are understanding about our hearts now and our soul and where our real power is yes now not everybody has gotten that memo some people are still trying to hang on to the old way and um you know, that is where you see the hot takes. This is where you see people trying to be divisive, um, trying to put guilt and shame into people, twisting narratives. There's the next one. Uh, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. See, there's an emotional thing going on here. And it's a restart and a refresh of our feelings. And again, not allowing people to tell us that we can't be vulnerable. And it's messy. It's messy. <laughs> there are some humans that have very specific soul origins and this rule just straight up doesn't make sense to us. Okay. It just doesn't. And there are things that have been always very, very clear and yet we got caught up in it ourselves because we're here to experience being human. So we get into it. Right. And, um, you know, other people are just not, we get into it, we come through our lessons and then we like, I, I don't know, we kind of grow from that, I guess. I was trying to figure out a better way of putting it, but there you go. And yet there are other people who are like, no, the pain is my comfort zone. I know that sounds weird, but people are doing that. Or I don't know. I don't know. It's just people who are just accepting a whole lot of nonsense as if it's normal and it's not. And if you are very spiritual, let's just say spiritual person, <laughs> or you're a star seed or you're an angelic human or, you know, whatever you, you have a very different take on everything, right? You, you look at the world and say, why do we put these types of people on a pedestal? Why do we want to go in and save that person who's clearly doing wrong and doing bad just because we can see a glimmer of light in them. And we want to go in and pull that out. We're here to spread light, right? Not let people feed off us, but to nurture that. And then that's how we get kind of hooked. We get hooked into that. It's a lot. 
it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. You know what this feels like? A lot of people who are in that sort of um, soul family dynamic, if you want to say it that way, I wouldn't say we're getting fed up. We're, we're remembering. We are remembering our origins. We are remembering our power, as I keep saying. Um, and we won't have to lift a finger. That's the thing. <laughs> That's what's so funny. Like, you know, and the people who do um, thrive off of taking advantage of one another or taking advantage of people or feeling superior to others or using people, being conniving and manipulative, this is not anything that they are prepared for. They simply won't understand what the heck is going on. And they will be the ones that I'm... <laughs> guys they're gonna be the ones calling you oh my gosh I just got exposed for abusing my power oh no poor me can I lean on your shoulder hang up <laughs> hang up have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon what this feels like for a lot of people who would have found their way to this video our dream is to help bring light into this world I know that sounds like uh, you know, like an inspirational poster or a bumper sticker or something, but hang with me, okay? Our dreams don't really have to always do with whatever sort of 3D dream there might be, okay? It is to fulfill our purpose here and get people to wake up. Wake up. Wake up to what? Wake up to, you know, we could sit here and say corruption and all that, but I think what this is, is it's a, a fresh start. It's all about the love. It's like that love generator. And that is going to be the saving grace. Now, a lot of people might scoff at that. There you go. There you go. You want to see what's going on? Watch the people who roll their eyes when you say anything emotional. When you say anything having to do with the heart center. When you do anything outside of this callous, manipulative, Machiavellian kind of approach to life. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So be prepared as, you know, so there's this feeling here that we're going to know how to move forward. So there's this realization that happens. We know how to take action. And taking action for us is not going anywhere. Not really. It's getting centered and bringing, bringing that light forward. We know how to do this. We're the light generators. And people, again, can roll their eyes because they don't get it. They don't understand. They're not in this. We can't be bothered with those kinds of opinions anymore okay <laughs> because i think we've come in a lot of us want to fit in and so we allow ourselves to get kicked around or we're a little like shocked that this kind of mentality even exists we didn't see it coming right how many of you comment down below how many of you have come across a very very rough lesson and you're like i, I never could have imagined wait for the phone calls Wait for the phone call. Someone's going to be filing, you know, lawsuits. And yeah, I mean, you might say, well, is this because of things that have been announced? Yeah. Yeah. But this feels more like, um, like harassment cases. Decide to be happy now. Do you see the story that's unfolding here? Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all the goodness in my life. So again you know, interpret that not as like sidestepping. I'm going to pretend like nothing's going on so I can be happy. That's one of the most self-serving things that you could possibly do. And you're not fulfilling your purpose if you are in fact a light worker or an empath. The glare of the cards, my friends, <laughs> tilt it like this. Can you see it? Uh, anyway, you'll get a close up. I'll do B-roll of the cards here. But uh, this is saying, you know, we don't have to, we can be free, I think is what we're saying here. We get to be free. We're still gonna fulfill our path. Uh, if we are meditating, some of you who are, you know, very advanced spiritual practitioner type people, you, this is your whole life, <laughs> right? You know what I'm about to say, right? You, you still keep growing and growing and growing that light. And you're still doing your practice and you're putting this energy out there. And some of you, <sighs> give that to me again. What? What are you talking about? Some of you are doing this and you might have a blast from the past. We are approaching Mercury retrograde. We actually, does it go 
Does it retrograde this week? Ew, is it that time again? Is it? I'm tired. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know about you guys. But anyway, the whole idea here is that we, we know how to protect. We get clarity on how to move forward. We know uh, to, to keep the faith that we can still be working towards this, this mission, if you want to see it that way. And we could be happy doing it. So there's a victory here. There's a victory for the light. Hang on to that. All right, guys. So we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs>